Hydrodenitis suppurativa is a long-term skin issue. It causes small, painful lumps to form under the skin. This condition is unique because it involves chronic inflammation, and this inflammation often leads to serious problems. These lumps can open up, causing a lot of pain. They can also create tunnel-like structures under the skin. This makes hydrodenitis suppurativa a challenging condition to deal with. Hydrodenitis suppurativa usually happens in areas where skin touches skin or where there's hair. This includes the armpits, groin, buttocks and breasts. It's important to understand where hydrodenitis suppurativa typically occurs to spot it early. Managing chronic inflammation is crucial with hydrodenitis suppurativa. It helps control symptoms and prevents more issues. Knowing how hydrodenitis suppurativa affects certain areas and its ongoing nature helps in getting the right treatment. Number 1. Causes of hydrodenitis suppurativa. Understanding what causes HS is key to managing and preventing outbreaks. Hydrodenitis suppurativa is a chronic skin infection that affects hair follicles and sweat glands. While we don't know the exact cause, research has found several factors that contribute to it. Genetics play a big part in hydrodenitis suppurativa. So if a family member has it, you're more likely to get it too. This shows there's a strong genetic link. Hormonal changes can also trigger HS. Hormones control sweat glands and hair follicles. That's why HS often gets worse during puberty or big hormonal shifts. Problems with the immune system are another cause. An immune system that's too active or doesn't work right can cause ongoing inflammation. This makes hydrodenitis suppurativa a chronic condition. And finally, environmental factors and lifestyle choices can make HS worse. Smoking, being overweight and stress can all make symptoms worse. These factors make managing HS harder. Number two, symptoms of hydrodenitis suppurativa. Hydrodenitis suppurativa shows up with symptoms that can change your daily life. It starts with small, painful lumps under the skin. These are often in the armpits, groin, and buttocks. These lumps are tender and make simple movements hard. As hydrodenitis suppurativa gets worse, these lumps can turn into skin abscesses. These abscesses fill with fluid and might burst, creating tunnels under the skin. These tunnels connect different abscesses and are very painful. They can lead to severe skin infections over time. Chronic pain is a big problem for those with hydrodenitis suppurativa. The constant coming and going of lumps and abscesses causes ongoing pain. This pain limits how much you can move and affects your quality of life. Knowing about HS symptoms is key to catching it early and getting help. This can help reduce pain and stop the condition from getting worse. Number 3. Stages of Hydrodenitis Suppurativa In the first early stage, you might see abscesses in hair follicles, either one or many. These abscesses don't usually cause much scarring or sinus tracts. It's important to catch this stage early for easier treatment and lifestyle changes. Now, when Hydrodenitis Suppurativa moves to the second stage, abscesses spread out more. You might notice sinus tracts forming between them. This stage means the disease is getting worse. Treatments might need to be stronger to stop further damage. At the third stage of hydrodenitis suppurativa, you'll see many sinus tracts and a lot of scarring. This stage needs a mix of strong medical treatments. These help reduce symptoms and improve your life quality. Knowing about the HS stages and their signs helps you get the right medical help early. This can lead to better outcomes for you. Number 4. How hydrodenitis suppurativa is diagnosed. Diagnosing HS starts with a detailed skin checkup by a dermatologist. They look for signs like inflamed nodules, abscesses, and tunneling sinuses. This is the first step in identifying hydrodenitis suppurativa. Your medical history is also key in diagnosing HS. The dermatologist will ask about any recurring lumps, drainage, and where they occur. They might also look into your family history since HS can run in families. Sometimes more tests are needed to be sure of the diagnosis. These might include ultrasound or MR1 to see how deep the skin issues go. Lab tests like bacterial cultures can check for infections that come with hydrodenitis suppurativa. Remember, spotting HS can be tricky because it looks like other skin problems, so finding a dermatologist who knows how to diagnose HS is very important. This ensures you get the right and quick diagnosis. Number 5. Treatments for hydrodenitis suppurativa. Treatment for HS focuses on stopping new outbreaks, controlling symptoms and treating current lesions. It uses a team approach based on dermatology 
with medications, lifestyle changes, surgery, and other treatments. One key aim of HS treatment is to lessen inflammation and stop infections. Doctors often prescribe topical and oral antibiotics for this. If antibiotics don't work well, they might use biologics. These drugs target the inflammation causing HS and help many patients feel better. Your doctor may suggest lifestyle changes too. These include managing your weight, quitting smoking, and exercising regularly. Making these changes can help reduce HS outbreaks. For severe or ongoing HS, surgery might be needed. This can be draining abscesses or removing affected skin. Working with a dermatologist who knows about HS ensures you get the best treatment for your needs. New treatments like laser therapy are showing promise for HS. They help reduce symptoms and improve skin health. Research on biologics is also ongoing, offering more personalized treatment options. Now, as we discussed, one of the main things is reducing inflammation. And the reason why is because chronic inflammation can lead to tissue damage and increased lesions, making it worse to control symptoms and prevent new outbreaks. That's why we created our free 21-day anti-inflammatory diet that will help reduce inflammation and improve your overall skin health. You can find the link in the description of this video. Having this anti-inflammatory diet will not only allow you to manage your symptoms more effectively, but it'll also allow you to maintain a healthier lifestyle without ever feeling deprived or struggling with complex diet plans. So don't hesitate to download it in the description of this video. Number six, medications for hydrodenitis superativa. Medications are key in managing HS. Antibiotics are often the first choice. They help fight off bacterial infections and reduce swelling. For less severe cases, creams or ointments might be enough. But for worse cases, pills might be needed. Hormonal therapy is also a helpful treatment, especially for women. It helps balance hormones that can cause HS flare-ups. Birth control pills and certain anti-androgen drugs have shown to be effective in controlling symptoms. For more severe cases, biologic medications like TNF-alpha inhibitors might be suggested. These drugs block proteins that cause chronic inflammation. TNF-alpha inhibitors have been shown to reduce inflammation and stop new lesions from forming. They target the immune system's pathway to control HS better. Number 7. Surgical interventions for severe cases. When HS gets very bad or doesn't respond to other treatments, surgery might be needed. One common surgery is lesion excision. This means removing the affected areas to help heal and prevent more outbreaks. For worse cases, wide excision might be done. This involves taking out a bigger area of skin. It can greatly lower the chance of the condition coming back, but takes longer to recover from. CO2 laser therapy is another option. It uses a laser to remove the diseased skin without harming the healthy skin around it. This method can lead to less scarring and a shorter recovery time. It's important to know the good and bad of these surgeries before making a choice. Number eight, diet and lifestyle recommendations. Changing your diet and lifestyle can really help with HS. Making smart changes can improve how you manage HS and might even lessen flare-ups. One key tip is to eat an anti-inflammatory diet. This means eating foods that help reduce inflammation. Think leafy greens, fatty fish, nuts, and berries. It's also important to avoid foods like processed snacks and fried foods that can increase inflammation. Stopping smoking is also crucial. Smoking can make HS symptoms worse and slow down healing. Quitting can lead to better skin health and overall health. Managing your weight is also important for HS. Being at a healthy weight can reduce skin pressure and prevent new breakouts. Regular exercise and eating mindfully can help you keep a healthy weight. That's why we recommend our free anti-inflammation diet plan. Again, it's free. You can download the free plan in description. Number nine, natural and home remedies. Natural remedies can help with HS. Tea tree oil is a good choice because it fights inflammation and bacteria. Putting diluted tea tree oil on the affected skin may lessen swelling and stop infections. Using warm compresses is another way to treat HS at home. A warm compress can shrink swelling, ease pain, and help pus drain out. This easy method can be very comforting when you're having a flare-up. Regular use of antibacterial washes also helps keep the skin clean and stops irritation. These washes are kind to your skin and help avoid bacterial growth. This is key for controlling HS. Adding these natural remedies to your daily routine can help with your medical treatments. 
They might not take the place of prescribed drugs, but they can give you extra relief. This can make living with hydrodenitis suppurativa better.